Hey, everybody, I'm Juju Chang, and I am thrilled to be back for my fifth American Graduate Day. As we begin our half hour on career readiness and college completion, we turn to an organization that is near and dear to my heart. It's called Junior Achievement. It's a program that truly helps shape my life and so many others. JA inspires and prepares young people for success. Their programs are for kids grades kindergarten through 12, and they teach financial literacy, work readiness, and in this day and age, entrepreneurship. Their volunteers reach an amazing 4.6 million students each year. And today's Junior Achievement Story comes to us from a JA corporate program run out of the Comcast Philadelphia office. So joining me in the studio are two of the fabulous people in the JA world. One is mentor Trish Mayer from Comcast and her mentee, high school senior Simi Smith. Thank you both for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. So excited to have you. Simi, you know, we're all busy in our corporate careers. How and why did you start volunteering? Well, this program um, caught my attention the year before, and I volunteered, but I would say I volunteered lightly. Mm -hmm. um, and it really, um, I observed that it had such a profound effect on a high percentage of the students that were, that were involved, and um, really wanted to get more involved and led the program last year with another one of our uh, colleagues, Bobby Guerra. And um, I really saw a group of students who came in knowing, I'm going to say, little to nothing about how to launch a startup, mm -hmm. uh, how to build a work stream, how to build a product, how to market, uh, how to run a finance program, um, and then how to sell that product. And it, it's just amazing to see these students come to life. And, and they actually started, as you know, a business, made a product, sold it, uh, and then close that close that company down. So it's just it was very rewarding to see that. Samisa, so I did the same thing you did, which is I built a company and a product. Yours was called One Love. Yes. And it was centered around a very cool blanket. Yes. Can you tell me? Show me. Yep. This is our blanket right here. Uh huh. And yes, our company was called One Love, and our logo was Keep Philly Warm. So we found a need in our city and so. decided to fulfill it. And we fulfilled it by using these blankets and partnering with Project Home. So for every five that we sold, we donated one to them. We wound up donating 206 blankets. It's amazing because Junior Achievement is so centered on the profit motive, on free enterprise and entrepreneurship. What made you want to give the money away? Well, at the end, we had profited over $12,000. So we figured, what could we do? And we're really all about our community and giving back. So instead of keeping the money and maybe using a scholarship, we decided to get the homeless people off our streets in Philadelphia and giving them homes and toiletries and blankets and things that they needed that we could make sure that they used. Trish, you know, it must be uh, quite profound to watch the before and after, to see these kids evolve. Yes. Tell me about the growth that you saw throughout the program. Well, we start with about 27 students and that quickly wanes off to about 16 or 17. This is about a seven month program and it's a weekly commitment for seven months. And it's not easy always to work with surly teenagers. Tell me, you know, what makes it work? When does it work? Um, I think part of the attraction is junior achievement and coming to that great Comcast building that everybody gets to come to <laughs> every time we have a meeting. Um, but the junior achievement program has really gotten out there, and I think that the success has um, has uh, attracted a lot of um, higher level students. And our students all come from Philadelphia. And you saw Samis evolve. Tell me about the growth that you saw there. Yeah, so um, Samis, I don't think spoke for the first three weeks of the program. <laughs> she was very quiet. Um, but the first time we started exploring um, the, the, the most comfortable work stream that each of the students would fit into, Samiz was very quick to step up and say, you know, I want to be in the financial work stream and that's something that I want to be a leader in. And you know, she, Samiz, we were yeah. talking about how in my life it was so pivotal. It was the first time where I felt like, okay, I got this. What kind of confidence did J.A. give you? Well, definitely gave me a lot of confidence. Um, like she mentioned, I'm not very outspoken in the beginning. I like to find where I feel like I'm needed and then try to grow. But it also takes for someone to need my help in order for me to speak. And they, they asked for help and I really wanted to help them and 
help our business grow. And they gave me enough confidence to go to our regional competition and speak in front of everyone. Now I'm able to voice myself in class and, you know, help others do the same thing. It's amazing. And Trish, I, I know that this has been a program that you start out thinking, well, I'm going to help others. And yet right. in many ways you get enrichment out of it too. Oh, absolutely. Um, there's nothing more rewarding than seeing uh, young people grow uh, and seeing them really make an evolutionary journey from beginning to end. And um, Samise is going to be too modest to say this, but she was she won a scholarship in the regional competition and she was chosen as employee of the year. And that's a big deal. It's pretty stiff competition. And a lot of the schools have students that are all recruited from a single school. We have students that are recruited from a number of the inner city Philadelphia schools. So they are meeting each other for the first time when they come into the program. Well, Samise, I know so. that you're um, a senior. You're starting to apply for colleges. I yes. wish you all the luck, and I suspect that the confidence J.A. gave you yes. will help push you in that direction. Definitely, especially with the help of my mentor. Trish has helped me so much. Oh, I'm so glad that you were both here. It's fantastic, and, and fantastic of you to give that money, too. What a great lesson for everyone.